Okay, so today we are going to create custom uh, brushes in Photoshop that will allow you to uh, customize your textures for your 3D models by painting on uh, bolts, screws, nuts, and so forth without having to model them. This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. All right, guys, well, this tutorial is going to be one for the books. It's going to be really important to follow and remember because this will save uh, you time in the, for the rest of your career, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to create custom uh, Photoshop brushes that will allow you to texture your uh, 3D model textures in a very easy and convenient way, okay? So that said, let's get started. I'm going to go in and I'm going to open up a file of a screw head right here. I basically just went to uh, Google and I uh, looked for uh, screw head uh, PNG, which gave me that transparency, right? And I'll just uh, change this for a sec. So uh, yeah, that's our screw head here. The background is transparent, like I said, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this screw head into a brush, okay? So you can basically brush on screw heads. You can do the same thing with nuts, with bolts, with, um, leather stitches, you know, stuff like that. So we got our file. What we're going to do first is I'm going to add some shading because I want it to look real. So I want to have some shading on the edges. Okay. So I'm going to add a new layer. I want my shade to be behind my screw. So I'm going to move that down a little bit. Then I'm going to take a black paint and I'll take a brush. I'll go up here, make sure it's a nice soft brush and it's not too big, something like so. And then I'm just basically gonna go around to add that shade. And you know how light or dark you want that, it's basically up to you, but just to make things clear, I'm gonna go with that, okay? All right, so I'm happy with uh, how this is looking. Uh, let's call this uh, done. So now it's time to change this into a brush, okay? So I'm gonna go up to uh, edit and I'm gonna go to define brush preset. I'm gonna name it. So uh, you can see that it has a number 400. I'm gonna call this uh, screw head brush new, okay? I'm gonna hit okay and as soon as I do that, you see that my brush changes into the, uh, the screw that we just created, okay? So what does that mean? That means that I can now use this. So I'm gonna open up a new file and that's gonna be a sheet of metal. And let's see if we can paint our screw onto this. Now, like any other brush, I can change the size and the color of this uh, thing. So I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna drag that down until I got something more suitable something like this looks fine and let's give that a go i'm just gonna click up here and see what we got okay we're gonna zoom in see how that looks pretty neat okay all right so uh let's see can we do this in a different color yes we can we'll just change this to blue and we'll take our brush again we can change that to red and so forth so you see that that works, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and back. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how to do this in a sequence. So let's say I have a row of screw heads. How do I wanna do that, okay? Well, can I just uh, take that and drag that? So do this, no, it's not gonna work, okay? So we're just gonna go back here and I'm gonna change my color back to black. What I need to do is I need to open the brush menu. So I'm going to go up to a window. I'm going to go to brush. And here you have a number of options. So what I want to do here is I want to tweak the spacing. So by pulling on the slider, you see that I now suddenly have space in between. So let's go with, let's say four. And then when I click here and shift click over here, I'll just move this out of the way. So shift click here. You'll see that I get a number of screws like this. And that's basically all there's to it. So uh, hopefully this will help you out in your workflow. I'm quite sure it will. 
And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.